this is going to be the usual people. All right, guys, uh, we'll start up in just a sec here. Uh, make sure my volume's up. Great, yeah, so we'll start here. We've got. Okay. Yeah, so we got Coach Tar, uh, Jalen Alton, and Bailey Klingler for you guys. Hey, everybody. Um, I mean, kind of like my job to describe things in words. So asking you to describe the game just in a couple words, like, I mean, how would you do it? Um, we have a whole bunch of bad blank women on this team <laughs> that want to win. Coach, how close were you to pulling Gabby in that uh, third inning? About as second, close as second inning, I'm sorry. Yeah, about as close as we were to not starting her. Um, I don't say that in jest, but in, in a way, kind of like, you know, it was a little bit eh, chip away. They kind of, you know, they didn't totally do too much damage to her. We kind of did a little bit to ourselves, and then we knew we were going to have to score to win that game, and we were thinking of, about taking her out, but then when we scored, it was like, all right, Gab's going to give us an opportunity to stay in this game. And that she did. And there was definitely thoughts in there that we were like, all right, what are we going to do? But our answer helped us make that decision. Thank you. Jade Lynn's kind of been a long year for you, injuries and other things, like just to hit that home run that you did. Uh, like, I mean, probably the first thing going through your mind was the team, but just what did that mean to you? Um, to me, I just, I think after they had their inning, I knew we were going to have our inning. And so it was kind of just, we weren't done yet. And we know that we had a lot more time to play how we play. And that was just kind of to start it off. Coach Tar, is that the, is that the craziest game you've ever uh, coached at Husky Softball Stadium? It's one of the more proud games I, I've been a part of, you know, where it's like the players are playing, they're competing, they know what they want to do, they're doing it together. And my role was very limited in, in that. And uh, it, it was really cool to see that take o them take over and play the game that they know how to play and they want to play. Bailey, when you woke up this morning, what do you think the first thing that went in your head was? I think just um, doing whatever it takes um, to be there for my teammates and knowing that it's going to take everyone and just kind of doing whatever I can to fire uh, my teammates up. Um, but just knowing that it's going to be hard, uh, our road's going to be hard and uh, we're a resilient team. So, How long do you guys celebrate this one before you think ahead? <laughs> I think, you know, you try not to think ahead and, and, and we don't, but we've I think we've done enough like pre-planning or answering the questions about seedings and matchups and all those kinds of things that you're so used to like deflecting it but absorbing the whole piece that you know we know what we're in for we know where we're going we know when we're leaving we know what's you know we want to know what's at stake so it's definitely a great opportunity that we've earned and we can't wait to continue to grow as a group. I don't know if you you guys have heard this, but it was announced during the broadcast that um, one of the um, Saturday game of the Oklahoma series is going to be on ABC. Um, what does that mean for softball for you guys? Um, just to have for the team. What? Um, sorry, Ed. What? What was the? What was the announcement? The the middle game of the Oklahoma series is going to be aired on ABC. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sounds like Little League World Series back in the 80s when Kirkland won. Gabby pitched 28 innings, I think, this weekend. North, north of like 350 pitches, I think. I mean, what, like, I mean, what a, her arm, like, I mean, what's just, what do you think of Gabby playing right now? Coach Tar and then Bailey, too, because yeah. I know you're playing right behind her. Yeah, I mean, Gab's. Gabs is very humble in that she would be like, here, everybody can participate and play. Um, so she's, she's willing and able to do whatever the team needs her to do. And she was willing and able to 
you know, stay in that game. And I asked her like straight up, like Gabs, how do you feel? Like, we're going to help have you help us make this decision about staying in the game. And do you want to, she's like, well, whatever the team needs, whatever you think is best. So she, she's not the kind of person that's going to tap out. Um, she's going to continue to try to be better in her game. And she had to change a little bit of her game plan in the middle of this game. And she got better and better with it as the game went along. Yeah. I mean, well, like Gabby would step in front of a train for somebody else. Like, I mean, at what point do you like say, you know, enough is enough, but like, I mean, what, what made you trust her? Well, I think she is a very trustworthy person and you can just see it in people's eyes when they, they know they're going to be fine. And I could see the ball, how it was coming off her hand tonight. And it was definitely, like I said, she was getting better and better as the game went along. What's going on in your huddle? Like you're down five or four runs uh, early in the game. Uh, what's the team saying to each other, especially, you know, like Jadlin, like Starocco, you kind of, I think you struck out like maybe once or twice against her uh, the other day. And then today you have a good game against her. I mean, what changed between, you know, the two games and the first couple innings to the, you know, the inning you had? Um, I think just like my approach was different today coming up. Um, just hunting certain pitches was all I can think about. So during PP, BP, like I was being more intentful. So carrying that into the game obviously really helped me. But yeah, overall. And lastly, Coach Tar, thinking back, uh, you sent, I think you sent Sammy around to make it 5 3. Um, the speed of your team this year seems like something that maybe you haven't had in the past couple of years. You guys have really focused on that. Um, I mean, are you proud of that at this moment? Uh, you know, the speed paying off. Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, like to be able to go two bases or three bases even at times, um, especially when people are playing back at the fence when it's hard to hit balls over people's heads. You know, you either have to hit it over the fence or truly in the gap. I mean, Jadlin threaded the needle in one of the at bats and we, you know, we just kept on running and we knew we needed to try to find a way to score as many runs as we could. One more for uh, Bailey too, uh, like one of the, uh, someone came over to me during the game and she said, she was like one of the stadium staff and says, that girl's about to smack this ball. I can see it in her hips or whatever at the plate. I mean, I think that kind of sums up uh, just the ego you almost have when you step up into the batter's box. Uh, I mean, what's your approach like there and the confidence you have right now? Uh, can you describe that? I think um, it's just competing and competing for, uh, my team and knowing that they have my back and you know just thinking to myself like how can I personally beat this pitcher you know she has to throw it over the plate um, and my teammates have my back no matter what happens so I think that just kind of relieves a lot of pressure if there's any just knowing that if like in the event I don't get it done um, the next person will so I think that's really special within our lineup especially now that uh, you know we're heating up and this is just the beginning. Perfect. One more. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. You had one more. Go uh, yeah, Coach Tari, it's, uh, you know, a, a lot of people talk about, you sent a tweet out after last season was canceled. Uh, people, I mean, I made a big deal about it, just saying, like, this is not the end of your team. Uh, and it looked to be almost the end of your team many times in the past, you know, 24, 25 hours. Um, now that you're headed to Super Regionals, uh, can you sum up, like, what the past – for like whatever 400 days has been like for you and just this moment? Yeah, I think, you know, unfortunately when COVID took, you know, took the season out, it was very sad because you didn't know if the seniors were going to get another go at it. And we just truly believed like, and hoped and prayed that it was not going to be the end for this team. And unfortunately this year isn't a continuation of last year. It just, it, it isn't because we have new people and it's a different year. But if this team is to do what it's going to do, it is going to remember what it did last year and combine all that we do have this year to carry us to where we're supposed to go. And so we're definitely enjoying each other. Um, I think if anything, last year, it taught us to really 
never take anything for granted. I mean, we all know life is short. We all know nothing's given, nothing's guaranteed. And um, we just move forward with that. And it gives us a lot of peace in how we go about our business. Great. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Get, get some rest. Thanks, everybody.